human fresh. Human fresh. I guess I could sit there and pass time. Uh, I should be able to pass time here. Yeah, there we go. Wait till like uh, it's morning. My first time, uh, drinking beer on stream. This beer's really bitter, though, this blue moon. Oh. I definitely don't... I, I like, I like don't drink at all, but, um, my brother got some, uh a beer recently that is root beer and of course alcohol which tastes kind of good and then i uh picked up some some blue moon to try it and it's like eh. then again it's like i don't really drink alcohol so it's a it's a first kind of Happen here. What the hell? What is he supposed to do? Well, I guess just my my rads go up. Mr. Frothy just freaking. Uh, make sure rads go up. This is kind of cool, man. The freaking theme park and when it's storming, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> All right, what are we supposed to do here anyway? Oh, star control. Locate star control. Starport Nuka. Okay, so that's where we're going to find... Um, one of the cappy things. Keep looking around, though. A grenade went off in here. Yeah, a grenade. FPS is kind of choppy. Damn. Okay. Um, I kind of should probably stick to the bottom, but um, we did circle around and check the. Check the bottom area. Let's go over here. Freaking 30 FPS, bro. Ah. We got the baseball bat. That's cool. False alarm. Alright. Yeah, even my FPS in here is pretty bad. I think those... Cola. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff to drink. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. Dude, there's so much Nuka Cola. Like, I can't not pick it up. Area. I have to. Approach and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens will not be armed. Hazmat suit. Automatic laser rifle. Display case. There's another star uh, core in here. Let's open this. Um. Yes. T fifty one helmets. All clear. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. Gotcha. What is this? Moon rock? Uh, I don't really need to take that helmet. Vacuum tube. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. You go world. Yeah, I want to know what this 
thing was. I can go down there. There's so much to look at. Well, kind of. I mean, but there, there's just a lot of doors that lead to other pathways and stuff. It's got it. A little overwhelming. All right, this is all junk in here. Double whiskey. Hostile target identified. Legendary Protectron. I didn't even realize that's what it was. Okay. One. Open the gates. Love this background music. Nice. Uh, but that's where we're supposed to go for <clears throat> the uh, star control, whatever that is. It's down here. Damn, dude. Some jet after that. I'm running out of plasma cartridges. Um, what other weapons do I have? <laughs> that Mr. Mr. Handy, Yellen. Star control battle zone that way. Um, this way. Hey, there's a cappy thing. Is that is that a hidden cappy? Let's see. R. It is. So wait a minute. We were able to see the cappy. Uh, but once you put these things on, then he's like not red anymore, and he's got uh, a letter in the bubble. That's one. R. So wait a minute. Is this a spaceport? Galactic zone. Huh. I'm trying to figure out how this thing works. You see, like, like, you can still see it, but you just, it's obvious you need the glasses. Um. Find the hidden cappies. Oh, it kind of that kind of ruins the fun because it like points you and where like where exactly they are, kind of. Kind of lame. I don't like that. I like trying to do the hints. Um, I don't know where this hint is. Like, I don't know what hint. Uh, Take this is taking us to that star. I don't know. Oh, I thought that was a uh, helmet. Oh yeah. Of course. It was a turret. I looked right at a turret. Another uh, star core. Okay, where am I at? Attention, Robco guests. Battle Zone. In case of emergency, anti venom is available at the exit for the reptile oh, house. Kill. Kill. Put down your weapon and submit to. 
do. Guide maps for our hedge bays are available for computers at the Safari Adventure Park Office for only $35. There's so much. Where the heck am I? Oh my god, I walked into the wrong area. Uh -huh. I walked into the wrong area. Sorry, the FPS is just all over the place right now. It's everywhere. <laughs> oh, how did I end up over there? The heck? Okay, we should probably go back to where we're supposed to go to. Robco Battle Zone. That's a uh, an area. All right, let's go back. I don't want to come over here just yet. Baseball. Due to a mix-up at Safari Adventures Whoa. Animal Waste Facility, apple juice will not be served this evening at the Four Leaf Fried Fish Restaurant. Oh, but I want apple juice. Restroom. Yeah, everything's so ruined, it looks kind of bad. Like, well, it just looks like Nuka World, real why not messy. Try a refreshing Nuka grape, Nuka orange, or Nuka cherry. Now available Nuka cherry. I don't really care to grab all the freaking ammo from those things. Okay, um... We did not come in over here, I think. Oh, well, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We, we came in over there, but we went that way first. Then we kind of wrapped around and checked out all of this. Let's go down and... I don't know, I guess head to where I'm supposed to go? Go down there. Let's check out some sort of star control or something like that. I want to see what this is. Star control. Welcome to Nuka Worlds. Yeah, this is the main entrance here. We walk that way. This stuff over there, and then like got, like walked on the walkways above, and was just like confused. Oh, power armor, blue. Interesting. Investigate the mainframe. Now remember, there's supposed to be a um, a legendary protectron that was roaming around down here. Black. It's like he uh, landed on the moon in that. <clears throat> Kendall Olsen. Oh, this is, uh, this must be, uh, Tiana's father or something? Strike for the taking. Rat poison. Star core. Install. Install, install. What? Dude, we have to find so many star cores. Okay, well, let's, uh, we're obviously gonna have to find like freaking 80 of these or some ungodly amount, it looks like. What is this? Save it. Star control. Systemized telemetry for automated robot control. Uh, link 
Mount. Mounting star cores. Fail. No star cores detected. A minimum of one control core is required to initialize emergency operations mode. Boot sequence aborted. Okay, so I have to plug one in. Yeah, install one. Arcs log. Yeah, let's listen to this. It's been three weeks since Ingrid and I activated star control and the new robots in the galactic zone. Earlier today, I was working on a Nucatron when these damn kids came at us with their thirst sappers. Of course, they got soda all over the exposed hardware. Oh, no. The Nucatron lurched and pointed its nozzle right at one of the boys. I thought for sure he triggered the military protocol, and we were all dead. Turns out Star Control sensed the glitch, so we never had to find out. It shut down the Nucatron itself. God, I was so relieved. I still think having armed robots in the park is insane. But as far as I'm concerned, this star controls the real deal. Not a lot of folks would travel star with star control. control. Even one with my kind of charisma. <clears throat> I really like how for some reason, like, I don't remember this being in the vanilla game, but like when they're when it's windy. The like, uh, the bushes and the trees and all that stuff actually move. I don't remember seeing that in uh, the uh, the base game. All right, let's install a freaking core right here. I guess. Could it matter where? Reboot the mainframe. Dude, I seriously hope it talks. Come on. Bring them back, dude. Bring back the talking mainframes. Come on, Thesda, you can do it. What? Repair mainframe, one of 20. Clear the galactic zone. Insufficient star cores to assert control over linked robotic systems. Emergency protocols will become available as additional star cores are installed. Um, one out of 20 is required for basic operation. One out of 35 is required for fully functional. So are we supposed to find star cores throughout all the lands or, or what? Or are all 20 or 35 in here in this land? System logs. Operating instructions. Uh, for automated robot control, developed by Robco, is a complete solution for corporate clients needing to administer a large number of robots and defense systems. Star control technology is built on a series of highly redundant, interchangeable telemetry modules, star, star cores. At times, these cores establish a radio communications interlink between the star control mainframe and the linked robotic systems, allowing the mainframe to coordinate their actions and issue commands, uh, irrespective of their underlying operating protocols. Individual star cores may be safely replaced during normal operation. In the event of a major failure, star control can still boot into a limited functioning or functionality emergency mode if at least one star core is present. While the system is in emergency mode, all robots and defenses will continue to act on their prior operating instructions. As cores are replaced, a series of emergency protocols will be progressively unlocked as computing resources permit, allowing the user to react to urgent problems until fully functioning, fully, full functionality can be restored. Okay, technician logs. So I guess this is where all the star cores go. I guess you don't put them anywhere else. Uh, finished the install job for the new mainframe today. Mark and I fired it up for a test run for hours. Seemed to go pretty well. Robco's communication interlink doesn't play nice with older model handies. We've been. We've got working concessions. Big surprise there. But I'm so glad we went with their bid over the one from General Atomics. 
their director system is a mess. Single point of failure and all. Star control may be overkill, but at least it's some it has some redundancy if something does go wrong. We've been reading a lot in this DLC, man, and I, I guess this is sort of a, a main thing in this DLC, but whatever, man. I gotta read, I gotta, gotta know about things. It's been almost a month and Star Control is still working perfectly. That never happens. Big install jobs like this are always a disaster, and we've got military-grade robots running around with live weapons. This thing seems like an accident waiting to happen, but so far it works as advertised. Color me impressed. Mark and I have been digging through this, the control code, and we verified that the defensive mode protocol admin wanted uh, seems to be in place. If there is a major emergency of some kind, we flip the systems into defensive mode. Use the robots to, use the robots to secure the park. No real way to test it. Let's just hope it never comes to that. And then the bombs fell, sir. A day before the bombs. Mainframe tours have been a big hit. Lucky us. First, we lose our workspace to that ridiculous uh, diorama. Diorama? Diorama? Um, and now we have to babysit a bunch of snotty six year olds who can't resist punching or punching, pushing all the big glowy buttons. We're going to start integrating the robots at the junkyard into the system this weekend. I'm not sure if Star Control's interlink will work at range, but it's worth a shot. Now we have Kendall's log. It took us three days, but we finally broke through the rubble around the north gate. Walked right in. No turrets, no combat bots, nothing. The only robot I had to put down was that damned Nucatron that kept trying to sell me a $10 bottle of Nuka Cherry. Stupid thing wouldn't even take caps. This here's the real prize though. Top of the line pre-war tech still humming along. A girl Tiana says these glowy things are redundant, which I guess means we can take them. Ought to fetch a good price back in town. He's talking about the star cores, I believe. Last log. Coulter's gangs took Nuka Town. We got survivors incoming. I had the boys throw up some defenses, but they ain't gonna last long. I told Tiana to turn on the defensive mode she told me about. She panicked, said we'd taken too many cores from this thing. It couldn't handle the reboot. Sent everyone she could find to go strip cores from the other rides. The girl means well, but with the gangs breathing down her necks, I gotta do something. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, heard on defensive mode, she told me about it. She panicked, said we'd taken too many cores from this thing. Couldn't handle the reboot. Huh. Star Core Network. A total of 34 other Star Cores... Our cores were detected within range. Isolating locations. Seven in Star Control Chamber. Four in Galactic Zone Grounds. Seven in Nuka Galaxy. Zero in the Interstellar Theater. Okay, so when you actually get the cores, this updates in real time. Um, six in the Vault Tech Among the Stars. Six in Robco Battle Zone outside the Galactic Zone. Okay, so outside the galactic zone, meeting in other lands? I don't know. We're gonna have to try and find uh, the rest of these, but I guess we know what all the star cores are for now, so. Yeah, star cores, galactic zone grounds, galactic zone. Go ahead and start installing these. Do, do these actually take up uh, space? It's obviously under miscellaneous, right? Or is it a ammo? Star core. Okay, we only have six of them. It'll be pretty interesting. We have no more. Okay, so we've got eight installed right now. We need to get it to 20 for it to do anything else. Emergency protocol shut down. Select it. 
Uh, connects all linked robotic systems with spe uh, specified. So I can issue a shutdown. Once selected, the target cannot be changed. Uh, hang on, let me see. I want to do a save here and see. I would obviously do this on uh, Nucatrons. Because iBots and Handies are real easy. What does this do? It was successful. So all those Nucatron robots should be down. I can look around. Okay, well, we, I guess we got places to look at here. And I'm guessing once we have them all, we can probably take this suit, I'm thinking. Huh. Gonna be very interesting here. What's on the map here? Mainframe. Dollar Theater. We already got the one in there, so I don't need to do that. Uh, the Robco Battle Zone, and then there is something else around that way. Um, I did level up. Let's uh, let's pick a perk here. What kind of perk do I want? Da -da -da -da. Huh? It takes strong back. This ninja. Scrapper Aqua Boy. I really don't know what kind of perk I want. Like, it's not gonna be like amazing if like whatever we take. I mean, we could take more health uh, when we're using stim packs. <sighs> could do some pit pocketing. Could do some sneakiness. I think sneaking around would be kind of cool. But I mean, like, I'm not. I'm never really gonna sneak. I could get more uh, in like our actual stats. I would open up that night person rad resistance. Oh, I think I was gonna go for uh, the adamantium. I think that's what I was gonna go with. What does endurance give me again? It affects your total health and action points draining from sprinting. I honestly don't know what perks I want. I guess I'm gonna go for the try and work towards the adamantium skeleton. I guess endurance. Yuka cooler recipe. Nice. What do they sell here? Just a bunch of souvenir stuff? Whoa, what's going on with that? That thing's derping out hard, look at that. Derp. Let's, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Consumer animatronic, nice. Yeah, we uh went by this area pretty quick when we were fighting things in the park. At least we're finally getting a chance to do some exploring. Um, because we really didn't get a chance to do that. Um, the first time that we came here, and then even uh, on Friday, we were just like talking a bunch to everybody. 
already checked down there. I could loot bodies. What's in here? 